morning. Oh, good morning, my children. How are you? We are fine. fine. We are going to the street. Yes, ma. Yes, ma. Mm -hmm. Okay, now. Hmm? Yes, ma. God bless you. Do not tell me that this woman has gone to church this early morning and she's on her way back. That is it, Angie. Since that Pastor Patrick opened that his church, some people have become born again. Thank God. Kechi, do not make wrong situations. Is it not better for churches to be everywhere than shrines? One day, just one day, they will open a church beside the river down there or at the very center of Nkwa Market. I bet let's go. Mm. Mm. Go now. Mother sent it. Yes. Mm -hmm. She said that if you need more than this, you should tell me. So that she will keep them aside before people buy them off. Okay. Told me if we should keep another gallon for you or not. Yes. Tell her to keep one more gallon like this one. Hmm? Okay. I'll see how it How much is this one? Ah, uh -uh, mama. You two know how you talk about prizes. <laughs> it's okay. I'll see how it did me. Okay. I'll be on my way. You went so Welcome. fast. Yes, because I want to escort my friend Ngozi somewhere. Ngozi, make sure you go and come back in time so that you do the kicking. I will, Mama. You are very lucky. Very, very lucky. Why do you say so? This your daughter is different. She's the type every prospective young man would like to have as a wife. Very down to earth. When I was shouting and telling people, there is no girl like village girls. They thought I was joking. Mm -hmm. Listen, she does all the domestic work for me. Mm -hmm. You are simply lucky. I think Other that. girls her age will just keep their eyes up. I mean, chan, 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 chan. But this one is so different. She wouldn't even know she was not born in this village. My dear, I thank God. Uh, why you go out, sir? Oh, Saji. <laughs> hey. 
you saying? Well, what I'm saying is, um, we should wait till next year, after your graduation, and um, we'll do everything once in a single swoop. Sweetheart, I think we should do the introduction now. My parents are already complaining. They're saying I'm, I'm turning down all the suitors that are coming for my hand in marriage. All right, so um, what's your relationship with your father like? Cordial, why? No, I think you should meet him. I think you should talk to him. Tell him that um, the man who wants to marry you is not a joker. That he just wants to do things stage by stage, that's all. Daniel, Daniel, I am not asking you to do anything extraordinary. All I want is for you to meet my parents. At least let them see this guy that I'm always talking about, that's all. Is it such a big burden to meet my parents anyway? It's okay. It's okay. I'll do it. Okay? I'll do it soon. Is that okay? Yeah. I think I know how you feel, though. You think I'm going to disappoint you? I didn't say that, did I? Yeah, but I know that's what you were thinking. You're not in my mind, are you? Oh, I know you were. <laughs> anyway. I will not disappoint you because I love you. And I know you know that. I love you too, darling. This is a fine man. Suits the weather. Yeah. I got it on a special day. Something nice on someone special on a special day. Yeah, it was my birthday. Yeah, that makes it a special day, I think. Tell me. Correct, it must be a woman. Well, you're correct in a way. It's a woman, but not my woman. It was my pet cousin. She oh. sent it to me on my birthday. Oh, how can a man be so lucky? Everything seems to be working well for you, then. Your relations, your fiancé, all of them don't put on you. In my own case, I even suspect my wife of gross misconduct and an infidelity with a capital I. I hope you're not bringing your legal profession into your personal life. It's not done, you know. Because not that. It's just that I'm the one dragging and the one pulling me for my and you know her weight is heavy. Uh, not to talk of my sister, Joanne, you know her. Yeah, I do. I've never seen somebody with a brain as dull as hers. No, I don't think she's that bad. It's just that you expect everybody around you to be as intelligent as you are. It's not everyone who can do that, you know. Anyway, that's by the way. When are we escorting you? To where? Doris Village, of course. Oh, that. <laughs> uh, well, I'll 
not tell you in due time. <laughs> that don't miss her. That girl is one in a million. Yeah, I know that. Well, it's just that um, she talks too much. Her mouth runs too fast. I mean, and I fear it's the curse of every woman. Nothing pierces my heart like it. I learned that the day they created women, God looked for a place to put uh, strength in them. He didn't see, so he put it in their mouth. A former's <laughs> own mouth is right up. Oh boy, oh boy. Well, I also heard that um, a man who wants to marry is like a man who goes to the market to buy a dog. When you get home and the dog is well behaved, you tell God. Okay. But um, if the dog is not well behaved, you start waiting for the day it's going to bite you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let us tell you, you lose it from the chin and let it go. <laughs> uh, yeah. But seriously, I think the former is not that bad. The former is not that bad. He's almost everywhere. He has a right to be everywhere, don't you think so? Mm, I do. Honestly, when you people started this, I thought it was a joke. I thought it was a joke myself, but... Well, that's life for you. We were happy. Lucky you did. I just hope he doesn't have another woman somewhere else. You know men understand. No, no, no. no it's not my Danny. Not Dan. Dan. Dan is faithful to me. Well, it's just a little problem, you know. It just has one little problem which I'm trying to work on. And what is it? His temper. Ah, oh, Daniel is so bad tempered. You don't know. That's the way men show spirity over women. They shout and pull out their eyes just to show off. They're so proud. Proud. I must confess. Dan, your guy is good. I mean, his temper is not as hot as other people's own. Or have you forgotten my former boyfriend, Samson? Talk about the leaving girlfriend, please. Oh, he slapped his woman on the street and he's feeling proud about it. Thank God you left him. Wait, but, uh, wait, wait, wait. Kate, how did you cope? I can't date such a person. You tried all. Uh, I can't date. Let me check put on fire. Go. All right. work today. What's the problem? The worst has happened. What do you mean the worst has happened? Did something go wrong in your office? What is it? I think someone used my office computer to defraud the company. 
And now, 15 million naira is missing, and the records are there. So, wait. Are they saying you stole the money, or are they saying you made away with the money? What are they saying? They're saying I stole it. Actually, we've been quarreling about this for a couple of months now. Darling, look, listen. I know you did not do it, okay? This is just the work of some jealous people. You have to cheer up, okay? Everything is going to be all right. This is not the end of the world. You might even get a better job than this one. Do you want to break into pieces? Huh? Do you want to break into pieces before you understand that I'm here for you? And your best friend Mike is here for you too. Dan, let me ask you a question. Before you got this job that you lost, were you feeding on gravel? No, of course not. Hey. the world so weak eh? after all my impute towards the good of that company this is the way they play me hey, hey. life is life in it is that all the time you will reap what you sold who knows the company could call you up tomorrow and give you a higher position i know a friend it happened to sacked called back and promoted don't worry yourself to death. We've done enough talking here. Okay, it's enough. You have to be strong. You have to carry on with your life. I mean, it's not the end of the world. Life must go on. Okay? Definitely. Life has to go on. You heard her. It's not the end of the world. Uh, Dora, has he had something to eat? No. Go and do something, get him something to eat. Nora, what is the problem? Brother, I need some money urgently. See, my rent has expired and my landlord is disturbing me. I also need to do some other things. I'll move to your household. Is that why you want to pack over here and stay with me? Are you a small girl? Sometimes I am. You don't have to be. How much are you owing your landlord? You know how much I pay him now. I need extra 50,000 naira. I'll pay you back, but I promise I'll pay you. All right. I'll give you the money. Does that make you happy? Thank you. When are you going back to Lagos? If I can get the money this evening, I'll go with the last flight. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, brother. You're welcome. What are these for? They're for you. From where? Darling, all these questions are not necessary. Look, you need money. We need money, so let's... Let's manage this while your company reviews the case. I still need to know where they are from. Okay. If you insist. <clears throat> I went to see my brother in Abuja. I lied to him and he gave me some money. You collected this for me? I will do more than this for you, because I love you. Well, you lied for my sake. This lie, can you take it back? Because some lies tend to catch up with it. 
liar somewhere along the line, you know. Well, this one little lie is not going to catch up with me. Relax, Daniel. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Thank you. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Because I'm lucky to have you. You're wonderful. <laughs> Darling, I actually bought this this newspapers. Because I have a lot of job adverts in them. I want you to go through them, you know, send out different applications to different some of these companies. I mean, you never can tell what will happen. You brought those papers so I could look through the um, advert column? I'm serious, Daniel. Write out applications and send to some of these companies. I think you've lost touch with this country. Because... The job offers in those papers have been taken by the relatives of the executives. Those are just official publications. I want to show you something. Look at this. Mm -hmm. My uncle as a director of litigations and external transactions in this company. Are you serious? Of course I'm of course I'm serious, Daniel. Look, write an application and I'll personally take it to him myself. Okay. It's um it's worth a try. Promise. Yeah, I promise. And not just to this company. You send out different applications to some of these companies here. Yes, madam. Night or hmm. things like new hair do doesn't trip my guy. So we'll chip in. That girl did a very good job. Are you yeah. sure? You don't pack it. No. Nice. That reminds me. How is your guy coping? Oh well, he's fine. He's um, we're managing. So, um, we're hoping that very soon he'll stand on his feet. Are you sure? Yeah. Mm. Does he still take care of you? Yeah. Why are you asking? I know he lost his job. I mean, does he still give you money to take care of yourself? Okay, that's not. I don't want to go into it. Okay? Sorry, Come sorry, on. sorry. Let's go. Who is it? Hold on, colleague. Hello, sweetheart. Hi, Grace. Hi. How are you? Yes, I did. I did. Um, my uncle sent me an email regarding your application. He wants to see you in person. He wants to see me. Why? An interview or something? Maybe. I guess so. When? Tomorrow. Darling, look. Brace yourself up and answer any question thrown at you. 
I know you can do it anyway. You know I can do it. Of course it. I know you can. So you did it, huh? I did. Mm, I love you. I love you too. Give me a kiss. Uh, Am I drinking too much? Yeah, I think so. How many bottles have I taken? Dan, you've already taken two bottles already. I never knew you'd take this much. Alright, alright, I get your point. I'll stop here. Besides, if I get home and Dora smells my breath, she's going to complain. Dora is still with you. She hasn't left you since you lost your job. Yeah, she's with me. Boy, you are one lucky fella. Anyway, thank God for Dora. Uh, if it were these loose girls that walk the streets, that have left you long ago since you lost your job. Yeah, but she's not like that. She's one in a million. She really loves me. Getting drunk, sleepy. You're thinking. When Harry told you you were drinking too much, you didn't want to <laughs> believe it. Anyway, it's it's good. You're going for an interview tomorrow, and, and we, we believe you will get the job. Yeah, I hope so. To know how interviews are doesn't mean you get the job. <laughs> Just be positive. You will get the job. Simple. I don't know. Looks like we've come here for a sit-down carnival or something. The salad is there, the chicken is there, the rice is there. And Mike, I don't understand. Everybody's just watching. Well, let me cut you there. Uh, well, we're here for good news. You see, they say that those who were, who bore witness to the cutting of a tree should also bear witness to the falling of that tree. So in other words, um, I want to say that uh, I've gotten a job. Fantastic. That is great. That calls for real celebration. Well, it's a miracle of miracles, and I don't know how to thank God. That's why I called you all here to help me thank him. To thank him for me. Congratulations, man. It's not easy. No, it's not easy at all. It's not. And I have my lovely princess to thank for everything. Because apart from the fact that she was instrumental in the actualization of this miracle, she also stood by me throughout all those months I didn't have a job. Please, pay no attention to him. Let's, let's eat and drink. <laughs> and so
that reminds me. Um, my mother sent someone to tell me to come down to the village. Is there a problem? No, I don't think so. She probably wants to know how I'm coping, you know, after losing my former job. But I also want to use that opportunity to um, tell her the good news. Good. That'll be great. How long are you going to be away for? Tanya, you go there and stay one week and leave me here all alone. Oh, come on, no, I don't have that kind of time. I'll go and come back that same weekend. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. So when are you traveling? This weekend. What will you bring for me? I'll get you vivid stuff. Like apple. Yeah, something like that, but whatever I get, you won't be able to eat it. Don't be poison. Yeah, what if I do? <laughs> <laughs> I'll miss you. And I'll miss you too. trying to get Dan on his line, but uh, no dice. Uh, I was even planning on coming to see him at home. I have good news for him. He went to the village. He'll be back by Sunday. What's the good news? Oh, well, nothing much, except that uh, one of our friends who has a car mat uh, took delivery of some cars at an affordable price and felt I should come let him know. Mike, you... You want Dan to buy a new car now. And you know he just started work a few days ago. What kind of person are you, Dora? Although girls who want their fiance to uh, have a car, but in your own case, you don't mind whether Dan has a car or not. You're different. It's not like I'm against Dan buying a new car. But the truth is, <laughs> he just started work recently. And he has a car he's using. I mean, he can buy a new car when he has saved enough for it. That's all I'm saying. No, you surprise me. <laughs> you really do. Well, you said he'll be back on Sunday. Yeah, he'll be back by Sunday. I'll relay the message to him. Please do. Let me get something uh, for my for Okay. Me. All right. Take, all right care. take care of yourself. Okay. Bye-bye. Say hello to you. Bye-bye. She's one of these people that religious riot brought down from the north to the village. Okay. Mm. Yeah, yeah, get down. Yeah, I pay a color. Hey. <laughs> you people should not send me here. I wonder why I forgot that this one is South Amman. <laughs> um, did you live in the north before? Uh, yes. Uh, I went to my university studies at Amadubele University. Uh, yeah. Le -le. But I'm now in Lagos. <laughs> Which one is Le -le? <laughs> Managing since we lost your job. 
just when I wanted to remind you of something, they sacked you from your work. So what is happening now? What is the situation? Well, Mama, I have good news for you. Good news? Yes, Mama. When I lost my job, it was very rough. I know. But I thank God that I found another job. Hey! You found another job? Yes, Mama. <laughs> the girl I want to marry, she found a job for me. Her uncle gave me the job. Chineke God, I thank you, sir. Thank you very much. I have always known that my enemies will never, never succeed. They will not. Hey! Nah. This is your new job. Is it better than the former one? I mean, do they pay you more than the former one? Yes, they do, Mama, but the difference is not much. <laughs> Thank God. Oh. Hey, this girl you say you want to marry? Well, her name is Dora, and she's a very good girl. I know you're going to like her, Mama. <laughs> Say. What? Oh. All these girls that answer big, big English names. What is wrong with them? Don't worry, my son. Don't worry. Eh? The important thing is to thank God that you now have a new job. And we should, we should also thank God for Dora who made it possible. Mm -hmm. mm. Good morning. Hard working girl. <laughs> you are already on your way to the farm this cold morning. Yes, Mama. Let me see if I can round up on time. So that I'll come and take up the processing of farm nuts. Hey! You can see I'm on my way to the church. I wonder if you have time to come this evening and help me out with some hard work in the house. This evening? I'll try and come, Mama. Thank you very much. How about your mother? She's at home. Okay. Tell her. Anyway, I'll see her when on my way back from the church. Okay. Okay. Tell her I'll see her. Okay. Okay, Mama. Welcome. How about your mother? She's fine. Welcome, eh? Come and sit down. Make yourself comfortable. This is my son, Dan. He's working in Lagos. Dan, this is Uche. The best existing young girl in town now. Very hard working. She's the daughter of that my friend that came the other day. The one I said came from the north. Oh, yes. Uh, you're, you're welcome. Greet him well. <laughs> That's welcome. <right. laughs> That's, don't mind him. Sometimes she's very shy. Uh, it's natural. <laughs> it's natural. Uh, Uche, please uh, go and help me tidy up the house. Oh? that comes around to help me do one thing or the other. She's very, very good. She has everything that it takes to be a very good wife for a lifetime. That's what a man needs in a woman. Mm. Mama, why are you telling me this? Time to marry. <laughs> well, I have someone in Lagos. Those lipstick infested young girls going from one place to the other. Making fortunes out of young, prosperous men? That is not your portion in Jesus' name. Mama, I'm sure that when you see her, you will like her. No. No. You are my only child. My only son. I can never, never joke with your marriage by throwing it open to adventurers. I will not. 
You have to marry from this village. You marry from this village. Come on, true. <laughs> My daughter, thank you very much. Hey, Uchi, please, can you go to the kitchen, eh? Help me make fire. Look inside those pots. Warm anything you see there for me. Okay, I hope I'm not bothering you too much. No, Mama. Thank you, eh? Yeah. See the way she's serving me. The only thing left for her to do is to bathe me. That's all. Perhaps one of these days she'll help you do that. Meaning? Meaning, can we talk about more important things, Mama? Her case is the most important thing to talk about now. You will not marry from the city. You have to marry from this village. I must make sure of the family background of any girl you are going to marry. You know, don't think about marrying in the city. I will not. How can you go and marry a total stranger? I don't know why you should be thinking about going to marry a total stranger when we have beautiful young people. All right. Go well, my son. Don't forget to think about what I told you. I will, Mama. One of these days, I'll come and visit you and see that person you are talking about. Mama, you know you're welcome anytime. <laughs> it's okay, my dear. Remember to pray always. Prayer is the key of the I always pray, Mama. I always pray. Bye bye. Bye bye. Mama. Drive carefully. I will, Mama. Your mom was very happy to hear about your new job. Yeah, she was. Have you seen Mike? No. Did he look for me? Yes, he did. <clears throat> he said um, a friend of yours was an auto dealer. Just bought in some cars and he was wondering if you'd like to pick one, but I dismissed the idea. Why? Darling, there is time for everything. You just got a new job. And you still have a car you're using. You don't think I need a new car? Not now. Maybe later. We'll get a new car. But not now. Your car is still good. That's why I like you. You mean love me? Yeah, love you. How did you miss me? No, I didn't. I had a lot of company. Yeah. Gentlemen, I'm still waiting for you to tell me why you are here. Dan, please. It's not what you think. We are here in the positive. In fact, we have a good news for you. Good news? Of course. You see, there is no good news from a God-forsaken company like yours. No good news from a company of bastards like you. And if there is any, please tell it to stay away from me because I will turn it sour the first time I see it. Oh, you are justified in your anger. How do I say you are not? Please, on behalf of our director of finance, the company is sorry for what happened. We have discovered that the missing 15 million naira was indeed taken by Dr. Sambo Ibrahim. We have finalized and reviewed on the matter and sacked him. We sell his house and cars and got the money. Yes, and, and as for you, we remove your case both from our case file and even court. Right now, the authority wants you back. Come back and be our marketing manager. 
Are you true? Yes. Gentlemen, you will please do me a favor. Anything, anything. Just what is it? Now, that is a door. And you will get up from the seat that I bought with my hard earned money. And please walk through that door and out of my compound. And one more thing. Tell your company that hunger has not killed me and will not kill me. Now please get up. Please, don't think about it. We still need you. Please. Please. What idiots? After getting my image, publishing a disclaimer in a very popular uh, newspaper, you are here to apologize. Are you serious? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Did, did they come to your house or did they write to you? Yeah, they came to my house. They were asking me to come back to the company with the promise of um, promotion. Really? Yeah. God, I'm so happy. Yeah, but I still want them to do a publication that will exonerate me. Sweetheart, do you know what I think? I think you should forget about those people and just carry on with your life. It's easy to say that. Well, anyway, I have an appointment with Mike, so I have to rush up, okay? I'll see you. Oh, my God, see you tomorrow. Alright, tomorrow. You boys be good. Yeah, we will. <laughs> Insurance people. Oh yeah, yeah, I did. Um, they came, they came back, but I wasn't interested. You know, all these uh, insurance companies, they can become distressed, like um, all these new generation banks. I see. You know, I got a surprise call today. What surprise call? Good news. Well, a friend of mine that I haven't seen for a long while, six years, he came back and called me and said he went over to the U.S. and got into prison. <laughs> Why are you laughing? It's funny. <laughs> it's funny. So is he out now? Yeah, he is. He is. You know, he's one of these people that think that over there in the U.S. you can commit a crime and be given a chance to tie to the next day, just like our country. <laughs> but anyway, he's coming next week to settle me. He's owing me. Father, not your faithful God. How much is he owing you? What? That much? Yeah, that much. Oh, Lord, I thank you, Father. Lord. And he's even going to pay some interest on top. Oh, God. Father, Lord, I thank you. I give you all glory, Lord. I give you all adoration. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Sweetheart. You're not going to go on a car shopping spree like your friend Mike. I know I need to change my car. Well, I know you need to change your car. It's kind of old, but you need landed property as well. Think. So, how is everybody in the village? Everybody's fine. Uh, Uche says I should greet you. Uh, 
Okay, okay. Uh, I'm not thirsty. I'll just leave it here. So, how's um, my man Kitty and Auntie Foma? How are they? Everybody's fine. They are very serious with fan work now. Alright. Um, Mama, this is Dora, the girl I've been telling you about. Dear Mama, did you hear the way she said they work? Is she not an evil girl? Mm, I'm not evil, Ma. I'm from Benin. Benin? Dora, uh, uh, could you please take mom to the guest room so that she can freshen up? Yeah. Uh, no, don't worry, eh? I know my way in. Oh, don't worry. Oh, but you can take her bag in for her. She already knows that the two of us cannot sleep here tonight. Mom, I hope you're not beginning to hate someone you hardly know. Daniel, you will not marry that girl. Be girl. Mom, what exactly is the matter here? The problem is that you are my only son. And there's no way you can sell your heart away to a total stranger. When you're Bini, Bini, what? and respectful guests like Uche are there. Mom, my closeness to you does not guarantee that you will select a wife for me. My position as your only child does not mean that I'm going to marry from the village. I mean, you just can't force this so-called Uche on me. If, if you've gone and made any promises on my behalf, then you just, you just go and withdraw it. Daniel. Daniel. I am sure that girl has charmed you. But it will not work in Jesus' name. You now shout at me. See, Daniel, what I see about you and Dora, if you see it, you will snap your finger and say, No, 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 no you are not seeing anything. You are not. Look, I'm very tired and I don't want to continue this discussion. Daniel! It's not possible. Okay. Daniel. Hello. I need some money to buy new seedlings and fertilizer for this farming season. That is why I have come. How much is it? If you give me 2,000 naira, I will not complain. If you make it three or even four, there will be no problem. If I give you 5,000 naira, would that be too much? <laughs> Don't try to talk like your late father. I was saying that if you give me 4,000 naira, I will dance. Now you are talking about adding 1,000 naira to it. <laughs> okay? If you do it, I want to make dance. I will jump!
Mama, this is 10,000 naira. I hope it's okay. 10,000 naira? Yes, ma'am. You are great. <laughs> One son that is great. Ofunwa <laughs> Jolono. Thank you very much. It's all right. I hope you are not still carrying heavy face because of our quarrel the other day. I was only doing it for your future. It's all right, Mama. But I don't want to talk about it now. It's okay, but we'll talk about it later. Yeah, I will. Later. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, my husband. Yeah. Oh, thank you for my mom. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> that thousand naira. I was saying that if you give me four thousand naira, I will jump up and dance. But now I can't even dance. How much more jump? Good afternoon to you too. Um, Mama, please, is Dan back from work? No. Is there anything? He he called me and asked me to come to the house, maybe to cook for you. <laughs> See, I'm a very good cook, and I like doing it myself. Any other thing? Can I wait for him inside? No. Mama, please, if I've offended you in any way, forgive me. Mm -hmm. You should go to the church and confess your sins, not here. Oh? Can I close my door now? Outside. I, I called you to come and cook for us. Dan, why does your mother hate me so much? Why? What happened? She refused to let me inside the house and she was talking and acting as if we were quarreling. Come on, let's go inside. No, no, no. I need to stay here. Why? Sweetheart, you know me, you know my weakness, you know my temper. The last thing I want to do is talk back at your mother if I'm really pushed to the wall. I mean, I wouldn't want to say hurtful things to her, you know. But you can control your temper when you want to. So do it now. Dan, I don't want to go inside. Come Let me on, stay here. Let's go in. Come on, let's go inside. It's my house, not hers. Let's go. Oh, 
Mama, get into the front. Um, honey, please um, take care of the house, okay? Let me drop Mama off at the back. Okay, I will. Mama, bye bye, no? Why does his mother hate me so much? I wonder if he has anything to do with tribalism. Well, I'll just wait and watch and see how Dan is going to control things. Everything depends on how he handles it. Could it be my face or the way I laugh? Could it be the sun? It seems so hot. Maybe it's the food. Taste is not so good. What could be so wrong in love? Could it be I'm blind? Could it be I'm wrong? To believe in love. To believe in love. Shall I dance around? Sure. I, I want to ask you something. Why is it that you people don't like marrying from other tribes? <sighs> Who told you that? I mean, what are you talking about? Are, are you not from Bini? Dan is an Igbo guy and he's planning to marry you. So? His mother. Oh, have you met her? Yep. She just left yesterday. Kate, her attitude towards me was very unpleasant. She, she was not nice to me at all. Don't mind her. That's women for you. All you need to do is to play clever. Whenever she comes around, try to avoid her troubles. That was exactly what I did. Oh. Dora, there's something I must clean. Our people don't hate outsiders. But if she does, then she has her personal reasons. Just make sure Dan doesn't have a secret wife in the village in whose defense the mother is fighting on. You have a point to make. You just have to be careful, okay? Don't let this bore you. Let's go. So how is he? He's fine. He's fine. Does it work? I want to ask you something, but please don't be offended by the question. What is it? Do, do you do you have a wife somewhere else, or maybe in the village? Why are you asking? The way the way your mother was sounding. You know, she was sounding as if she was sounding like she was defending somebody else and you know, it was like you were disappointing somebody else because of me. I've told you. Never mind my mother's attitude. She didn't move you. Okay? Okay. Sweetheart, you have nothing to worry about. Okay? This is Yeah. Oh, God bless 
at least for remembering. Yeah, don't listen to to know what started with you. Oh, dear. Yes. Started from the very first day you agreed to become my wife. Recovery of debt, recovery of happiness, recovery of everything. I mean, baby, you're a wonder. Let's thank God for that. Thank God, too. I wonder what would have happened if my guy had died over there. You see, that is why I keep insisting on landed property. You know, it's very hard. We can get a house or a plot of land, you know. We'll go for a plot. We'll fence it and then when we get more money, we'll build a house. Good. Our own design. Good. <laughs> you know, a wise man always saves for tomorrow. Mm. You know, I think I've found out what makes you so different from other girls. And what is that? You talk and act like a mother. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, not just a mother, a very, very good mother. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't believe this. I'm so excited. Who's <laughs> actually my friend? I'm listening. I want to tell you that I want to marry your daughter, Uche. <laughs> I think you have said something like that before. Yeah. Then I spoke in parables. <laughs> now I'm coming out in full terms. <laughs> it depends on the wish of the young ones. Will I marry my daughter? <laughs> my son is interested in her. Mm. It's just that he's the shy type. You know, I just came back from Lagos last week. Ah. Yes. I know what I discussed with him and what he said about Uche. He wants to know if I can bring her up to Lagos because he wants to learn her character, her behavior. And uh, I wouldn't know if Uche loves him too. You know these young ones? Sometimes they will like somebody. They won't. They, they will find it very difficult to speak out, <laughs> especially down to earth time like Uche, your daughter. <laughs> it seems you know Uche too well. I know Uche. I have studied her very well. Ah, oh, there's no problem. If she comes back, I will ask her questions. It's all right. But please, ask her the one she may, she will be able to answer. <laughs> you may ask her some questions now. The next thing she will start covering her face. <laughs> No, um, she's my daughter. I know how to talk to her. It's all right. Mm. Thank you very much. Eh? You're welcome. I have to rush. You know, I don't miss my evening fellowship. Play for me. I should pray for you. <laughs> <laughs> you have to come and join us so that you start praying for others. Who's I will. I will. Think about <laughs> it. Thank you, my dear. You're welcome. Thank you. Uche, Uche, get up, my dear. I want to talk with you. Uche, did you see when Ozochi's son visited? Yes. Anything. Did you tell you anything about marriage? No. But his mother has been calling me their wife since then. <laughs> Does it look like he is? I wouldn't know, Mama. I wonder why Dan did not want to open up straight with you. His mother came here and told me that his son is interested in marrying you. And what do you say? <laughs> Mama, I hardly know him. How do I begin to assess him? Well, he said he would like you to be brought to him in Lagos so that he will spend time to know you more. Mama, this type of arrangement is too funny. How do I begin to embark on such journey? Listen, Dan wants to know you more 
and you are going with his mother who's watching my friend. You are already supporting the move. Uche, you are no longer getting younger. Go first and see how the place looks like. There's nothing to worry about. I'm with you, okay? Well, anyway, I'll still think about it. Whatever be the case, I think Dan is good enough. Unless you discover otherwise. Hmm? Uche, Namo. We go together, okay? Hmm? Mama, you sent for me? Yes. I wouldn't know if your mother told you anything yesterday. About your son? Yes. She did. So what do you say? I never knew that was what you meant by calling me your people's wife. <laughs> Listen to me, my daughter. You are not getting any younger. Besides, you are brilliant and homely. The type every man would like to have as a wife. My son cannot miss you. Does he want me or you want me? It is not a question of want. It's a global struggle for men with prospects. Don't tell me you were not looking at him somehow the other time he came. I swear. I know you like him. Don't worry. I'll tell you something later. Oh? Just finish what you're doing. You know, go. Let's go more. I put on two eyes. They went into the second corridor. So tell me, what brought you to the insurance company? My uncle, he sent me to collect his insurance papers. I see. I checked you in your house last week. You weren't in phone. I want to give you this. Something wrong? Probably because I came. Rita, visitor first. 
No, welcome. Thank you. Her name is Uche. Uche Nna. Mama, I believe I know her. I knew you know her. Hmm? I was only teasing you. <laughs> so how are the people in the village? Everybody's fine. Her mother said I should greet you. That's nice. Um, but Mama, I'm, I'm working on some files from the office. Uh, but you're welcome. I can see that. Just go ahead. Eh? Let's go in. Change your dress and take a bath, okay? Mama, I told you trouble will bust out of this venture. Listen to me. This is a battle that the stronger person must win. Eh? Don't tell this thing I just came here. Stand on your feet and take that which belongs to you. No, I was watching. I am strongly behind you. Oh? Hey! Operation Fire for Fire is not just police language. You need to apply it in family matters. And now. All other things are bad. Good cooking is the best way to enhance that. Just cook wonders for him. Hmm? There's no charm like that. That girl that stood by you, encouraged you when you were a nobody, practically a nobody. I don't think now is the time to leave her because you're just somebody. I'm going. Good day. I don't know why you're so lazy on bed that you can't even satisfy a woman. What is all this? I am disappointed. Come, I thought they said that you are a village girl. How come you're such an expert in so many bad things? What do you think you're doing? Something wrong? Probably because I came. Greet our visitor first. No, welcome. Thank you. Her name is Uche. Uche Nna. Mama, I believe I know her. I knew you know her. Hmm? I was only teasing you. <laughs> so how are the people in the village? Everybody's fine. Her mother said I should greet you. That's nice. Um, but Mama, I'm, I'm working on some files from the office, but you're welcome. I can see that. Just go ahead. Eh? Let's go in. Change your dress and take a bath, okay? want from me? What? Each time you pretend to be angry, you bend your eyes like that of your late father's own. Mama, I am not joking. <laughs> Neither am I. Listen to me. Your father, King's men, and I have already commenced talk with our people. Which is the ideal wife for you? Mama. Mama. Stop pretending. I know you love her. Very soon you come running to me saying, I know best. I know what you want. I know what is good for you. Mama, please. Please, for the last time. I am not interested in Uche. Dora is my wife. Who is your wife? Who witnessed your wedding? Who? Look, don't insult me and our customer. Don't try it. Again, I don't have to your name, Tafo.
Yeah, what's wrong? You don't look happy. Too There's happy. something we need to talk about. It's about my mother. My mom. My mom is my... I don't know if she's... You don't think you'll marry me? You don't think you'll marry me? You don't think you'll marry me? Mama, I didn't even know you were around. Okay. I heard now. If you had known I'm around, you wouldn't have come up. Where? Mama, Mama, what is all this madness? What is this? You are the one that is bad. Shut up and sit down there. Sit down. Let it go now. Can you, can you explain to me what is actually going on? You haven't seen anything yet, too. You have not seen anything. This is my son. And Asama. His lovely wife. No, I am not. This is a lie. It's a full blown lie. She came back from the village and dropped this, 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 this thing. This venture. Listen to me. This is a battle that the stronger person must win. Eh? Don't tell this thing that just came here. Stand on your feet and take that which belongs to you. No, I will watch. I am strongly behind you. Oh? Hey! Someone, you told me no. Now, who is that girl? I know you have a right to be angry, but just listen to the truth, okay? There is no girl. Yeah, right. Your mother called her your wife. Daniel, your wife! Listen, the battle line is drawn between my mother and you. You have to fight for what is yours. My mother believes that she can impose anything on me because I'm her only child. But I intend to prove her wrong, and I need your help for that. If you say there's nothing between you and that girl, what is she doing in your house? I was just sitting there yesterday when they came. You see, the girl is the daughter of my mother's friend. That is all. Yo, that your mother believes that you have to marry her best friend's daughter? That is what she believes. It is not what I want. It is you that I want. it is you that I want. They think that you're using um, fetish means to hold me down. What? And because of that, you have to be careful. Daniel, my son. I am very sorry for what happened. You see, no mother will be happy to be at loggerhead with her son. Her only son for that matter. All I'm saying is that Uche here is the ideal wife for you. Don't allow that hot-eyed girl to confuse you. Biko, Uche, go and apologize to him for what happened yesterday. I'm sorry for all that's happened. Please forgive us. It's all right, I've heard you. Sit down. Hey, no, no, not here. Not here. Somewhere else, please. Yeah, Uche, you can leave us now, oh? Then, you should have allowed her stay with you for some time now. Eh? Look at why you're why you're. This time she came with a full pot of fire. She told me to my face that her son will not marry me. 
And what did Dan say? He said, he said there's nothing between him and a girl, that his mother is just forcing the girl on him, but I really don't know what to believe. Dora, I think it's hard time for you to make yourself highly inflammable. I mean, you can't sit down and watch someone else take your man away from you. Did you hear me? Yeah. Mm. Operation Fire for Fire is not just bliss language. You need to apply it in family matters. And now. Yeah. Thank, thanks, Kate. Thank you. All the same. You have to take it easy. You were there when one stupid girl came claiming that he had a son for my fiancé. You know what I did? I gave her a sentimental madness. She got it hot and ran away. So don't let it bother you. You just have to use your brain, okay? Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Mike, I've been trying to make you laugh for the past five minutes, and there's been a frown on your face. What? What? what why is it there? Oh, it's not a joke, Dan. Dan. Yeah, I heard you. Dan. How many times did I call you? Like 500 times. What is happening between you and your fiancé, Dora? Did she tell you anything? She didn't, but Kate, her friend, did tell me something. Well, my mother is the architect of the whole fiasco. Dan, it's your relationship. It's not your mother's, for I God's sake. I know that. Fine. I suggest you do something and save Dora from her despair. Look, 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 listen. That girl has been so wonderful, so nice to you. She doesn't deserve what she's getting now. She doesn't deserve it at all. I'm walking towards it. Do, do that fast. I will. Good. I'll be getting back to my office before they start looking for me. Just make sure you do something fast. So, are we doing lunch this afternoon? On whose beat? Mine. Good. I'll take a rent check. See ya. Now, there's a door behind you. 
Make use of that door and get out of here before I lose my temper. Mm -hmm. I said, get out of here! Once. The more you waste time, the more the drug loses power. You know, I'm not used to all these drugs. I'm not used to them. Just try. If you don't take it, you won't get better. when that girl pushed me down. I landed with my head, nearly hit my eyes against the edge of the stool. It was too painful, very, very painful. Right now, I'm beginning to have fever. I'm beginning to run temperature. Okay, Mama, why don't you go and dress up so I can take you to a hospital? <laughs> These drugs are okay for me. I'll be all right. I can see I may not be able to do the cooking, so you have to go and do it. Why are you looking at her like that? Are you beginning to develop interest? Look, you need money. We need money. So let's let's manage this while your company reviews the case. I still need to know where they are from. Okay. If you insist. <clears throat> I went to see my brother in Abuja. I lied to him and he gave me some money. You collected this for me. I will do more than this for you because I love you. They say that those who were, who bore witness to the cutting of a tree should also bear witness to the falling of that tree. So in other words, um, I want to say that uh, I've gotten a job. Fantastic. That is great. That calls for your celebration. Well, 
Well, it's a miracle of miracles, and I don't know how to thank God. That's why I called you all here to help me thank him. To thank him for me. Congratulations, man. It's not easy. No, it's not easy at all. It's not. And I have my lovely princess to thank for everything. Because apart from the fact that she was instrumental in the actualization of this miracle, she also stood by me throughout all those months I didn't have a job. Kill my son with good cooking. <laughs> mm. Now, I told you that this guy can do everything. What you know? You haven't known how. <laughs> Mama, you flatter me so much. It's not my fault, my daughter. In a sincha. kill myself with this food. I'm okay. Let me go over there and sit down. When you people are ready, you join me. Oh? Hey! What is the meaning of this? Don't tell me you don't have feelings. any move? Far from that, Mama. <laughs> Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Very soon, he will begin to comply. Okay? Okay, Ma. But you have to play your card faster. You know, very soon, I'll be leaving both of you here. I'll try, Mama. All other things apart, good cooking is the best way to a man's heart. Just cook wonders for him. Mm? There's no charm like that. You are that good.
the data. Today. What? Dan, tell me, how has Dora wronged you? I don't want to talk about that. Last time you said her mother was the architect of your fiasco. Looks to me like you're building or erecting a building with the architect's design. Mike, most girls are not what they seem. Dora has the um, face of an angel, but the attributes of a devil. No, no, Dan. I wouldn't buy that. It won't sell at all. Did she tell you that she beat my mother? She beat my mother until my mother fell down and she kept on beating her. Did she tell you that? Dan. Did you see all these happen or somebody told you? I did not have to see it happen. I saw what happened to my mother. You see, Dora's weakest point is her temper. She does not know how to control it. She doesn't. Dan. I, I have not come here to bombard you with questions, but one thing is sure. That girl that stood by you, encouraged you when you were a nobody, practically a nobody. I don't think now is the time to leave her because you're somebody. I'm going. Good day, Mike. Dan. If you love her so much, you should take her. she traveled without telling me? She says she forget to tell you ahead of time. Hmm. And you, what are you still doing here? Why didn't you go with her? Was I meant to go back with her? Darling, please. Let's go inside. I can see you are very tired. Like flamingo shoes, guinea brocade, Italian jeans, makeup set. Shut up! Why do you have such an appetite for material things? Huh? I thought you were a village girl. We sit there in the village, watch people coming back from the city. When they talk, we listen to them. Look, this is early morning, okay? It's time for breakfast. So please go downstairs and make breakfast. I am hungry, please. Are you angry with me? I am not. I just want to be left alone. That's all. God. 
God. God, I cannot believe this. Daniel, so this is how you are. Father Lord, if it is your wish that Dan and I will not be together, then let your wish be done. But if not, So, um, how much is it? Just 30,000. 30,000. Oh, yeah. Forgotten something. Forgotten what? Flamingo shoes. What are you doing with flamingo shoes? Just take a look at your hand. Look at all the things you're carrying. You still want flamingo shoes. Are you greedy? But look, I have spent enough. I am not going to buy the flamingo shoes for you. It's okay. But I was only trying to say that. this morning. What is wrong? But how many times did you touch me last night? <laughs> Meaning what? I don't know why you're so lazy on bed that you can't even satisfy a woman. What is all this? I am disappointed. Wait. So, upon all those things I did last night, all the acrobatics you made me do, you are not satisfied. Don't make me angry. Don't talk to me anyhow, Biko. I beg. Come, I thought they said that you are a village girl. How come you are such an expert in so many bad things? Huh? Apart from that, you don't say good morning when you wake up. You don't say thank you when you finish eating. You are very greedy. You, you, you are... Don't complete too fast. Maybe I don't cook well too. This thing has to end. It has to end. This attitude of, of starting a quarrel every morning, I, I don't like it. We have to look into it.
Why are you following me? Are you not going to work today? This is Saturday, it's not a working day. And that reminds me, I'd like you to um, escort me to somewhere. Where? Well, a friend of mine is um, having his engagement party at Plaza Hotel, and I'd like you to come with me. Will you? Why not? This is like Plaza Hotel, Showerton Hotel, Hotel Resorts Extra, Premier Guest House, Tontable Casino. All those places interest me. Uche, how come you know all these places? Have I not spent more than three months in this town? That's exactly what I'm saying. Uche, you, you, you've been here less than four months and already you, you know Lagos like this? All these places you mentioned, they are, they are new hotels and, and, and brothels. So how come you know them? What time are we going for the arrangement ceremony? Um, around 10. Around 10. Okay. Let me go and iron one of those clothes you bought for me.
expecting to see you with Dora. What happened? Dora... Um, no. Why? It's not something we could talk about now, okay? So maybe later, okay? But you were... Um, you were talking to Uche like you knew her before. Where, where did you meet her? You see, that's exactly why I called you out here. You see... Meanwhile, how did you meet this girl? Oh, she met you. Which one? Uh, she's just the girl my mother brought from the village, you know, a couple of weeks ago. Really? Uh, Danny boy, see, you're my friend, okay? And at least for the sake of our friendship, I should tell you the truth, okay? You see, Uche is a world-class destroyer. She's no good. She was my one-time girlfriend, and I know why I showed her the door. She's not worth it. Listen, let me tell you the good part. See, Uche was living here in Lagos at a big time hall. And I mean a first class hall before she was involved in a case of murder.
shot a man who took her to a brothel and even though she was caught but when the case began to turn against her she fled she ran to the north where her mother was living and since then I mean over eight years ago this is the first time I'm setting my eyes on her are you sure of what you're saying yeah, I'm serious dead serious you see Dora is a material that no man should lose you shouldn't even think of toying with her. But as for this one here, Uche, no way, bro. She's bad news. And I mean B A D, bad news. Damn. I don't know what to say I'm about this, bro. Serious. You sure about what you're saying? I warn you. Get up. Go upstairs. You will Did you just push me and called me an idiot? Huh? Hmm? Eh? Do I know you? 
Dora, I can understand how you feel, okay? I know I messed up, but don't you think it's time we made up? This has gone on for a long time. Uh -huh. Don't you? Wait, I... Make up with who? I don't understand what you're talking Dora, about. I am guilty, yes. I don't know what came over me, but don't you think we should make up, okay? My mother went overboard. I mean, we should make look, look. up. Daniel, go to me, okay? Dora. Dora. sorry about what happened the other night. It was the handwork of the devil. I mean, how long am I supposed to beg you for this? Each time I look at you, I see a bunch of rotten things called Daniel. I mean, the way you behave at times makes me believe you were once a psychiatric patient. Uche, please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? I promise I will never beat you again. It's a promise. Okay, what do I get for you to make you happy so that we can live in peace? Just say it, anything. I need a Honda. Oh, Toyota Salunka. New, not Tsukumbo. Okay, okay. Um is that is that all? Yes, for now. All right, I'll get it for you as soon as we come back from the village. Which village? Did we plan to go to the village? You see, actually actually I was I was planning to tell you before the quarrel broke out. You see, I need to um meet your people formally. I want to make my intentions of marrying you known to them. Okay? And um, I have only this weekend to do that because as from next week, I'm going to have a very tight schedule at the office and I won't be able to do it. Okay. I'm ready. Whenever you are ready. But my mother will be very happy to see us. Yes, likewise my mother. Darling, I love you. Yeah. Welcome, eh? You're welcome, my dear. You're welcome. 
I saw them driving past. I suspected this must be Dan and Ruchi. <laughs> Let me go to the kitchen. And no, Mama, Mama, please don't worry. Please, we need to talk. Sit down. Let us talk. Um, I have to get back to Lagos today. Huh? Dan, you mean you must still drive to Lagos today? This night? Yes. Night will be falling on the road. Oh. Well, don't worry, I can take care of myself. Please sit down. Let us talk. Please. Sit down. Let us talk. What do you have to say now? Yeah? Mama, mm -hmm. that thing you forgot in my house, I have brought that back to you. How do you know? Look at the beast you brought to me. I have brought her back to you. And let me reassure everybody, Dora is my wife. Not this. It is Dora that I want. Now, you can go ahead and play all the tricks you want. But please, do not bring it near my home again. I'm going. Daniel, what is the meaning of this? Daniel! Anytime I see you near my house again, I will go to the police and renew your case. You think they've forgotten about you? No. Your case file is still intact. You killed an innocent man and made away with his money. Now, if you want to know if your past will catch up with you, come to Lagos again. Damn it! Damn! Put it, put it. Kill? What happened? You don't kill anybody. Listen to me, Dora. Anger will not solve the problem. I'm a man, and I know how we reason. I'm sure Uche has worked on him one way or the other. You have to go there. Continue going, you know, until you get what belongs to you. I am not going there. Look, Henry, Daniel has made me realize that men are not worth sacrificing anything for. Wanting a sacrifice. I order you to follow your sacrifice until you use the right dividends that you desire. I still maintain you have to go there and talk to Dan. I am not going there. What am I going to do there? I'm not going. You see, that must stop being stupid. Well, you must stop with you know that is very matter. Okay, ma'am. So far I'm concerned. I think this very matter is over. So, I have to leave you now. are really making this thing seem difficult and I don't know why. Okay, so let's just make it straight and simple. Dan, you must reconcile with Dora. She's the one we know, period. I'm really grateful to you guys for arranging this. I've been waiting for an opportunity like it. I just want to say that I'm deeply sorry for what my mother did. Well done. Yesterday is in the tomb. Tomorrow is in the womb. All you really got is today. So why don't you make the most of it? Reconcile with Dora. Take her to your house. And kickstart your relationship all over again. you to look back at all the times we spent together, the promises we shared, 
everything and find it in your heart to forgive me. Not because I deserve it, but because you're a kind person and you know that I love you. What was it Daniel was saying about killing an innocent man and running? Uche, are you that? Answer me! There was no. Who's Uche? Huh? Why are you here? What have you come to see? Oh, you've come to see whether my daughter has been choked to death? Dochi, please. Oh, my name here. Can I please? Don't talk like that. I know how you feel. Pico. Who's Dochi? You went and lured my daughter into a stupid experiment. Listen, Who's watching you of all? Listen to me. I, I will do everything humanly possible to get to the root of Daniel's sudden change in character. I will. I will get to the root of it. I will come back. Uchi, it must be. Dora, this is your house now. Relax. It's easy for you to say, Daniel. Mm. It's like starting all over again. It's not easy. I'm sorry I put you through all that. Okay? Now I want our marriage to be done without anybody's help. Enough is enough. If you say so. So I was thinking about uh, Cot's marriage. Serious. you my son. You were a small boy when you left the village. That's why you don't know me. I am Nkwo, your father's best friend before he died. Okay, in that case you're very welcome. Uh, please come and join us. Ah, uh, okay. I cannot say no. <laughs> okay. Oh, 
Yesterday morning, you know, I started behaving like a lunatic. People quickly gathered and took her to a nearby native healing home. Then they sent me to come and call you. Oh, thank you. I have heard you. But um, you can go back to the village and tell my mother that um, I'm used to her tricks. Hey, no, no, my son. This one is not Trico. Please follow me to the village and you'll see her displaying. Sweetheart, please, you have to go and see her. Please. Look, darling, this is obviously a trap and I'm not going to fall for it, okay? I have to stand up to her this time. Look, Uncle, go back and tell her that this time it didn't work. Understand? My son, look at my gray hair. I am an old man. I cannot come here to lie with such serious issue. Neither can anybody send me on a childish errand like this. I am too old for that. This is a serious matter. Huh? You are here. Mama. Mm. Thank God you are here. If you're going, I'll take a quiet dinner. Who is the child now, Bacha? Tell them nothing is wrong with me. Eh? Tell them to release me more. I'm not mad. I'm only friend of mine. These are the people that are mad. On there now, Yala. These are the people that are mad. Oh, go up and the father up and leave. If you're going, Yala. So what, what actually happened? I can't do it. You don't even know. Eh? You will I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm I went too far. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. i i i i I did everything I could, but it did not work. If we go near, I had to try again. 
Oh, yeah, do it never. I want to visit about go about the body. I went too far. Hey, I went too far. I tried it, it did not work. I have to try it. That girl has turned an innocent spirit. Let her be. Man, you don't understand. I have invested so much of my attention and trust in that matter. I can't just recline. That girl's mother is on my neck. Who do you want me to strike out of the way? The girl or the other girl's mother? The one that is forcing herself on my son. Unfortunately, she, she is not forcing herself on your son. Of course she is, and I know it. Should I strike? You mean? I don't have time for this confusion. Who do you want out of the way? The same girl. Okay. <clears throat> Take this. Use your left. How will I use this one this time around? Go to your house and keep it at the usual place. Every morning, go there and pick it. Ask it whatever you wish against the girl. You will do that for good 14 days. On the 14th day, the contest will begin. And if by the 14th day, he had not married her, the medicine will work. But if he marries her before the 14th day, the medicine will not work. No, the medicine will work. Because he had already chased her out of his house long ago. There's no way he can find her so quickly. I know what I will ask it to do in her brain. Thereafter, she will die publicly. That is how it will never happen again. But I'm okay. I'm I'm okay. 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 i Eh. Oh yeah. Oh no, fun. Eh? 
Uzat. Uzat. Mama. Mama. Hey. Should I kill myself? 